Evening everybody, once again this is the second video, continuation of the uh, permanently putting a dehumidifier in where I can let it drain out the coach. And I'm doing that under my refrigerator right here. So this is a 99 Beaver Patriot. Uh, I think we got about 110,000 on her now. Um, so here's some of the tools. This is like a cheap cutter. And the problem with that is it's okay if you're doing it out here, but if you're in a tight spot, it's not good. Now this is a Milwaukee with a replaceable blade. It'll cut up to an inch. So that's a nice one, right? Now, this is your uh, heating element socket for your water heaters. And this is your PEX tubing pincher. You want to get the one with the additional pry on there, all right, and leverage. Okay, so there we go. Wait a minute. All right, and then here's varying things. I got a blue handle cold PEX valve brass with a stainless steel ball. I don't put cheap stuff in. Um, there's another blue one. Here's a Another blue one and a blue one. Here's a brass T. Anytime I do a job, I, these are half inch. I got three quarter in there too, but mainly half inch is your hot and cold lines. So there's, I'm gonna put that in. And then I also have some 90 degree elbows, which I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna cut a little piece, put it like this, put this in the actual drain tube that's already there for the um, condensation drip right back here this so this gets hooked up back here right in there and it goes down to my outside where I showed you underneath on the first video um, I have this off it's rare that I have it off but it is um, so it's like 90 degrees outside I got my AC running so I don't have to kill myself in here now this is a cutter which is this is kind of semi worthless but it, it's all right you know what i mean and i just kind of show you another way and when i keep this this is an adjustable it's a snap on but it's very good it adjusts and it also grabs pretty good now here's your uh or your clamps I call them the, the stainless steel clamps and then I have this little cutter every now and then because I'm doing copper work and then that goes to this which I use on other stuff there you go it's supposed to go in there there you go it was supposed to go in there This is my T handle for taking off blower motor metal ones that are in by an Allen wrench. Uh, it is a eighth inch, which is a common one. Yep. And then here's my yellow plumber's tape for gas. You want to use that on your gas line threads. And I got white in here somewhere. So all right. So basically. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to cut that one line like I showed you. Put this in there. Then I'm going to put a T. And then I'm going to run it from in that back corner out to here. And I'm going to extend it out about two inches here. And eventually I'm going to put in a permanent with a cap system on there. So I can just, and a quick disconnect. But right now I just want to get the hose hooked up. I'm going to put my dehumidifier up here and it'll drain automatically outside. So. The model I'm using is, uh, what is it? Hennison. So, and I keep it about 35% in here because remember, mold is the factor that you don't really want to deal with and you can't see any mold. Uh, I did have a very, very small leak. I made a video of that on my, um, shower back here and I redid all that I made all that wood myself and cut it and varnished it and everything like that 
So, all right, let's get busy. I'm gonna try to make a video of it while I'm doing it. I'm gonna put you on pause. All right, I'm gonna record. I just thought about some of you folks out there. You are new to a lot of this. Most of you out there, some of you are experienced. All right, so this is a 100 foot roll. I got red and blue, of course, blue is cold. But basically, I'm gonna show you, put, put it on pause again. All right, so I basically need a spot that big. So I'm gonna cut me a piece. I'm gonna show you how this works. This is the better one, the Milwaukee. I don't know, 20, 30 bucks, you know, if you need it. So it goes right in there and it gives a nice clean cut, level and everything. All right, all right, so I'm gonna show you how to do the rings. Put you on pause and get set up. Okay, due to the nature of where that thing was, I'll show you here. Uh, I didn't make a video of me trying to clamp it because I was kind of worried about some of the verbiage I'd be saying. And for some of y'all out there, you know what I'm going through. Uh, you see where I'm at? That's my refrigerator and this is the under, I did that T back there. All right, right there. All right, so uh, I'll show you how to do one 